what is going on guys this is the coach nice back here and today we are doing the 100 subscribers q a thank you guys so much for 100 subscribers and i'm sure we're gonna get so many more in the next couple months so let's start off right away the first question is asked by tricord tractiles and he asks who are my top five competitive battlefront players now my top five competitive battlefront players in order are going to be proud of kit overall i think he's the best player gun skill and just the way he is map moving around the map definitely the best um mostly for his map movement it's pretty insane um second uh bigger pandora 10 i think he's underrated i feel like if he was on team 5-0 he could easily replace waffles and way be way better and easily replace tricky and they had lord lasagna for a while too he could have easily replaced him too and I remember Z Deathless told me that they were going to ask Pandora to be on their team when they created it, but they thought he was a little too immature. So they obviously thought he was good also. Next is going to be Prestige. I think he, his reaction time is insane. He turns on kids and his gun skill for the high sensitivity he plays on is pretty insane. The next is going to be Z Deathless. He's gotten so much better um, over the course of when I've seen him use the E3 definitely top five player in the game um he has very very good map awareness very good flanking um just he has pretty good gun skill out of the air too um but he just needs to work on jamming sometimes and that's about it but i think he's he fires the e3 pretty fast as well and fifth i didn't really know who to put fifth and i'm not gonna put myself up myself on the list because that would be biased so i put not sworn on the list i think he's a very good up and coming player me and him were able to beat Tricky and Lasagna in 2v2, uh, uh, as you guys saw in one of my more recent videos. So I think he's very good, very good gun skill, very insane map movement. If you watch the 1v1 versus me and him, his map movement is pretty crazy, to be honest. Next question is by Z Kigney. I don't know how to pronounce your name, sorry. Um, but that's Tesco248 is who it's really being asked by. And he has five questions actually. What's your real name? My real name is Andrew. If you're not in Darth anymore, why did you keep the name? So on Google, they only let you change your name like a few times a year. And I don't know how many times I've changed it, but I think I have to wait again to change it. So I'll change it. I'm gonna try and change it later actually, I don't know. But yeah, I just really haven't got the time to do it to be honest. And I think I may have used changed it too many times, but I'll check. What's your favorite game mode? My favorite game mode, Cargo by far. I just always play Cargo. Second favorite would be Drop Zone. My favorite skin for the Rebels, it's gonna be the girl with the ponytail or the Twi'lek. And then for the Imperials, I like the... I don't really know. I don't really have a favorite skin on the Imperials to be honest. But if I had to pick, I guess it'd be the Shadow Trooper because um, he blends in with everything. Favorite gun, E3, and then my second favorite gun would be the SC-14C. Favorite DLC is Scarif by far, I just love Scarif. I don't like really the first few DLCs, but Scarif was definitely a good one. What techniques did you use to get better at the game? <sighs> Honestly, the more you play, the better you get. Um, I've learned a lot from the Darth clan, honestly, which I was good before that, but really learned better map movement in that clan. And then from there, just by playing good players, play, keep just keep playing the game, you'll get better. And watch, if you're getting outgunned or outplayed by a player on the other team in a public match, watch them, you can learn from them. And that's what I've done over the course throughout this game. Who do you think is the best cross-platform player? Um, if you're talking about out of all the three platforms, I don't really know. I A lot of you guys would probably want me to say phalanges, but... He's playing on PC, so of course he looks insane, his aim, everything. If you were to put him on console, I don't think he'd be that amazing, but I don't really know. Um, best cross-platform, I don't really know. I think Prodic gets pretty insane. I, I, I'm Obviously, that's biased because I've only played Xbox. I haven't really played any PS4 players. I'm sure there's good PS4 players, but I don't know that they would match the skill of Prodic it. And if Phalanges came on console, I don't think he'd be that good, so that's my answer for that. What do I think of H-Bomb and Rapid Fawn? This question is asked by Rapid Fawn. Well, you come in on my videos just to trash them or leave comments about my personal life, and I don't really appreciate that. So, don't really like you guys, but if you want to change that, can it just feels like every time 
every video, every comment, there's always a negative comment, so. Are you going to be making videos for Star Wars Battlefront 2? Yes, I will be making videos for Star Wars Battlefront 2, and also the new COD that's going to be coming out. Um, that's really going to be my first COD that I've ever started playing from the beginning, so Black Ops 3 was really my first COD that I've ever played consistently, and I started playing it, like, after the game had been out for a very, very long time. I've actually pretty good at it like there was a couple matches on like 40 and 7 46 and 13 which I know isn't like elite but for never playing black ops ever not bad would you like JJ to make you an awesome banner I would love that JJ I made one this morning you could check out my channel art it's not that good a little blurry um, if you would want to make me an awesome banner I'd really appreciate that what inspired me to do YouTube honestly this isn't even my first YouTube channel so my first YouTube channel is called Clutch Patch 12. One of my videos has 9,000 views on it, um, about 200 something subscribers. And so Madden was really what inspired me to do YouTube way back when. I loved playing Madden. I was so good at Madden 13. I think I was on the top of the leaderboards. Um, I was at least had more like 50, 40 or 50 more wins than losses. I was insane at Madden 13. If you go check out my that channel, Clutch Patch 12. Um, I had some pretty cool videos, a couple of videos over a thousand views, but I did have one video that hit 9,000 views, and that was really cool. Why haven't you changed your channel art? Well, I did actually just change it today after I saw your comment, and if, like I said, if somebody wants to make me channel art, that would be amazing, because I'm not too good with that kind of stuff. Worst blaster in the game? See, I want to say bow rifle, but honestly, I don't think it's the bow rifle, because well, in terms of shooting, I think it's the bow rifle, but the bow rifle is versatile because you can one-hit melee somebody. So I'm going to say, I think the Relby is kind of bad, to be honest. I don't think, I don't really know. I'm going to say the Relby, just because I think it's kind of weak. I know they did improve it. It was worse before, but I think the Relby is pretty bad. Um, and I think the bow rifle is better just because of the fact that you can one-hit melee somebody, which is a huge advantage over the Relby. Even if the uh even if uh, the Relby has a little bit faster time to kill. Have you played PS4? I have never played a PS4 before, no. I have not. What did you study in college? I'm st currently studying health uh, promotion and exercise science, specifically majoring in allied health. So basically what that means is I want to be a dietitian, so that's going to be cool. Um, I'm really into health and fitness, if you guys didn't know. Your own favorite trick shot? My favorite shot ever, and I'll play it after I talk, is on Darth X Tricky on Ghost and Badlands. And it was a pretty nasty quick scope from across the map. I don't really do trick shots, but that really is my favorite shot. Um, I'm gonna play it right now. Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. So as you guys see, that shot was pretty cool. The quick scope being was pretty insane on that. Uh, it's just one of my favorite shots, to be honest. Will you ever make vids on other games, or is the channel mainly Battlefront? I'm definitely going to be making channel uh, videos on Star Wars Battlefront 2 and uh, the new COD when it comes out. Um, I want to get really good at COD too, so we'll see. Could you lift more than every Battlefront player? I don't know. Probably most Battlefront players, to be honest, but I don't know. There's probably really strong Battlefront players out there. Um, so, probably not. There's always somebody better than you out there. And that's going to wrap up the video, guys. That was the last question. Um, if you guys like this, please leave a like on it. Share it. Let's let's get more subscribers. Let's let's make this channel something big. Let's, let's share this video. Let's leave a like. Let's comment on it. Give me some feedback. Um... Because I want to get, I want to start making really good videos for you guys with all this new equipment I have. I really appreciate all the support you guys give me. And um, with that, I'm going to wrap up the video here, guys. And I really hope you enjoyed it. So, uh, yeah. Thanks, guys.